surrender, Raziel. Abandon this petty rebellion. It was I who made you. Your life had played out, and in my grace, I spared you. You are my reaper of souls. You have no other purpose, no higher destiny. Just this. Accept your calling, Raziel. Let go of these vain hopes. Relinquish your will, and feed. No. What do you profit from this defiance? There's some grim satisfaction in infuriating you. My patience is eternal, Raziel. How many eons can you bear to languish here? The wheel of fate must turn. All are redeemed in the cleansing agony of birth, death, and rebirth. This is the engine of life, the purifying rhythm of the universe to which all souls are irresistibly drawn. Yours is a necessary and noble function, Raziel. Enough of your sermonizing. Are you trying to bore me into submission? Why must this game go on? We both know what you are. You're no better than the vampires you so despise. A voracious parasite, cloaking its appetite in a shroud of righteousness. I refuse to do your will. I can see into your heart, Raziel. It is not your will, but cowardice that keeps you here. How so? You know what fate awaits you when you leave the underworld. That phantom weapon you bear is a constant reminder, isn't it? The sword is waiting for you out there somewhere, and you tarry so as not to meet it. I could not deny it. As long as I lingered here, defying my captor, I was able to postpone what I feared was my inevitable doom. To become the ravenous spirit imprisoned in the Reaver Blade. But that sentence was no worse than the stalemate I now endured. Better to face one's destiny than cower from it. Harvester of souls, I created you. And to this function, my angel of death, you will return. Enough. Yes, I submit. Very good. Indulge your hunger. Yes, embrace your calling, Raziel. You will find that just as defiance has its price, so obedience has its rewards. And submission is not always what it seems. Okay, we get to play as Raziel now. Raziel is the protagonist of the Soul Reaver spin-off series of the Legacy of Cain series as a whole. Played as him in the game Soul Reaver and Soul Reaver 2. And in that series, I mean, it, it ended up playing quite a bit different than the Legacy of uh, the Blood Omen series, which is the other half. In it, Raziel... Oh, hold on. Below me swirled an ominous-looking mist. I knew that if I fell, it would mean my peril. Yeah, sure. Something very different to think about when playing as Raziel. Is it unlike Cain, who, although he is essentially immortal by nature of being a vampire, do you believe your worthiness is so easily proved? Your way is sealed until you have offered further evidence of your obedience. I must feed you before I depart this place. You must feed yourself, Raziel. The wheel must turn. Ah, now you understand. Raziel was originally a seraphim, meaning a, um, 
a holy like vampire hunting knight. Somebody who fought vampires under the under the leadership of Malik, one of the pillar guardians. He was eventually killed and entombed in a in, uh, like an underground vault or something. Eventually he was his corpse was found by ah shit. Huh, there we go. His corpse was eventually found by Cain and resurrected as a vampire and became one of Cain's more powerful vampire lieutenants. Right, how do I get back up there? Hmm. You! Down here! No, no, that's not the way. I gotta find a way to get that soul down. Shit! Uh, well, I'm about to restart. <laughs> Eventually, though, as you'd see in the opening cinematic of uh, Soul Reaver, Raziel grew a, grew a pair of wings, sort of. All the vampires in the series mutate as they age, but it's especially true for the vampires are, that are of Cain's lineage because of that corruption, that sort of psychotic... You may go, but remember, you are mine. You can no more escape from me than you can escape yourself. Yes, yes, very nice. But that, yeah, they they have an extra level of mutation that they go through. So, as all of the different vampires began to uh, mutate. Eventually, Raziel went and developed a pair of wings, which you can see dangling from his back here. <laughs> you want this room cleared of its vermin? If you wish to leave it. will be done, my good servant. Cain tore the wings from his back, seeing it as a sort of like front of his Cain was largely believed by the vampires to not stop. To, by that point in time, be considered a god. And by, by gaining some location that Cain possess, it was sort of like blasphemy. Not something that anybody should be proud of. Well, at least that's what the thought was back when he tore the wings off his back and threw him into the air. The vampire really killed him. Here's the last one. You see? Obedience brings prompt reward. thousand years later, or something like that, I'm not quite sure, maybe it was only 500, Raziel is resurrected. And when that happens, he's resurrected as a wraith, a horrible creature that he is here, that we see. And at the moment that he's resurrected, he is greeted by this thing. Where do you think you're going, little soul? This thing called the Elder God. Now we have got to escape. It essentially presented itself as the god of Nazgoth who over the world and all that kind of stuff. It also took credit for his resurrection. Now ah shit. Ah, restart. It took credit for his resurrection, whether that was true or not. That's... What the... F really? I wasn't even pushing any keys. <laughs> it took credit for his resurrection. Eventually, Raziel goes to question that. Where do you think you're going, little soul? Raziel questions this. 
concept that the Elder God resurrected him and saw its finding him as more of convenience on his Embrace your destiny. It did find him in a claim for responsibility and utilized him as a sort of weapon against the vampires. Shit! Oh my god, this sucks. Oh. <laughs> I hate to have to go through this over and over again. Holy shit, I wasn't pushing anything. This is embarrassing, I tell you what. Oh, it happened again. I didn't push a damn thing. Alright. Where do you Where think, think you're going, going, little soul? Don't die. You can't escape. In the years since Raziel's death at the hands of Cain, vampires have essentially crushed all human resistance. Vampires being immortal tend not to die on that. Clever so to live a long ass time. Clever indeed. And that's what the Elder God had against the vampires. The <laughs> Elder God requires for its own existence. Shit. <laughs> it requires shit, yeah. It requires people to die and their souls to be returned to this thing he called the Wheel of Fate. The wheel must turn, as you would say. <laughs> In order to do that, people need to die. Souls need to I turn to the wheel. Game long enough. Raziel eventually comes to the conclusion that all that the Elder God is is a parasite sticking itself. There we go. Upon the wheel and siphoning the souls away from it. Clearly my escape had not been anticipated, or my benevolent master would not have expended such efforts to prevent me from going. And if my departure displeased him, then that was a victory, however small, for me. In the spectral realm, water is as thin as air, putting this opening far beyond my reach. But once I found my way into the physical world, I might be able to swim up there. Yes, Raziel is a wraith. He has the ability to take a physical form in what's called the material realm, but at the moment he is stuck in what is called the spectral realm, meaning he can't touch and I mean he can't he can touch things, but he can't move anything. He can't affect living things or anything like that. He can just fight off the ghosts and the spirits that find themselves trapped in the spectral realm with him. Also means he can't swim in the water. This door would only open when fitted with an appropriate artifact. But to use such an object, I would first have to find a way back into the material realm. And that is not happening right here. Oh, there we go. Now this concept of being stuck in the material realm, the physical, the spectral realm, is kind of a unique prospect of Razio. It essentially is what makes him seemingly invincible. Destroy his physical body and he retreats back to the spectral realm. You destroy his spectral body and the Elder God will draw him back and he'll be resurrected there. At last, I discovered a conduit into the material realm. I would finally escape the spirit world and take one step farther from my tormentor. <laughs> Did you think to receive the same favors after your rebellion as before? No, Raziel. I have no need for you to enter the physical world, so no conduit will be granted. You serve me adequately as a wraith, and a wraith you will remain. So... My restraints had not been removed, only loosened. I would not be held prisoner in the Spectral Realm. There had to be another way. The Elder God may not have been what actually resurrected Raziel, but it does hold some control over him.
As I emerged, I was granted a vision of what I would become if I did not escape the Spectral Realm. For these two were agents of my master, hunting the lost souls that struggled to escape the endless twilight of the underworld. I don't know if these are exactly the same creatures. They kind of look a little bit different. But in the game Soul Reaver, there's a chance that Raziel, when drawn into the Spectral Realm, would encounter vampires who had their bodies, physical bodies, destroyed in some fashion. And these seem like they're them. Now, after a while... My master's plan for me was ominously clear. Like these mindless hunters, I existed only to fuel him with souls, siphoning their energy to feed him and his wheel of fate. I had to break these bonds, but I still possessed my own will.